All right. Out of absolute pure luck of people on my Discord talking about how long they've been on iRacing, I went, hmm, it might be near my 16th anniversary since I got the invite. And it was. Exactly to the day. 6-25-2008. I got the invite from iRacing to uh, join before the public opening. Uh, but I think most people on the sign-up list got in. And now here we are, 16 years later, making videos and fairly decent money off of it. And having a fun time. 16 years on a single game just crazy now there was a year I think like 2012 I may have stopped racing for a year because I just was completely broke and could not afford to pay whatever the membership price was at that time but uh, other than that I have been around since the beginning and thought I'd make a quick little video about it just because I don't have another video to put out today anyways um, so let's just start off I've done a video on my early days of sim racing NASCAR 1 through everything else back in the days where online racing for me was not possible in the middle of Nebraska I used to have to go to my parents business download mods on a floppy disk and then take them home because we didn't have home internet because it was the what late 90s so yeah just wasn't a thing and uh, yeah so once I got back from Iraq that's when I started online racing because I moved to the big city and uh, started off with R Factor, weirdly enough. Um, it was like 2004, 2005 by the time I got back into sim racing. Two th NASCAR 2003 was there, but it was, I don't know, it didn't really work for me on my computer. And I was looking for the next new. So R Factor Stock Cars um, had just come out and I started popping into online races because I could do that now. Ran into uh, a Kenny Smith who turned out to be Kenny Humpy and we've been racing against each other for what like 18, 19 years now which is absolutely crazy to think about but uh yeah from there we got onto the arca beta thanks thanks to kenny he got me on there and um had a lot of fun on the arca beta for arca sim racing but that game was really good in an closed environment. It was a lot of fun with the developers and everyone that knew how to race. When it went public, there was a few issues that somehow ISI or something, a file had gotten changed and it made the public version worse than what we had throughout beta. Um, and then at that point, the community just kind of exploded into every direction. Since 2006, we had all been looking at iRacing because their site was public. Uh, well, they're, you know, they had the truck sponsored, uh, Todd Bodine, I believe, at Daytona in 2006. And it was coming. And it was the same people that made the NASCAR games. Um, you know, this this was the same group. We had no idea what was coming other than what they put on their website, which was the basic content. 
but it all felt to me at least it felt like that's where i belong that this looks like what i've wanted and uh yeah arca i went down to daytona with the entire arca sim racing team and uh that was in 2008 i got to stand in junior's pit box because uh, the NASCAR officials didn't look at what um, credentials he actually had. So we stood there, and that was his first, I think that was his first Hendrix race, possibly as well. Uh, so we got to stand in his pit box for the shootout, because that used to be after the ARCA race. And uh, it was an awesome time. But then ARCA got released and then immediately iRacing sent out its invites and I just went to iRacing because our beta community split off into different groups now that everything was public and it just wasn't the same. So get into iRacing and it's a whole lot of nothing. It's cool. but there's a lack of content there's a lack of really anything the the ladder only goes to class c and it might not have even went to class c back then because i know that the silver crown was uh i think it might have been released the next build after this uh you also had to wait 13 weeks to actually get that promotion or demotion and if you didn't get it right at the end of week 13 you had to wait another 13 weeks so week 13 was don't race don't touch anything if you're good don't go out there and screw things up but uh yeah it's interesting that i have been part of a game for this long and I've been lucky enough to uh, have talks with Tony Gardner and write articles for the old iRacing News, but I never want to actually join it or be part of the uh, alpha or beta just because that will take away from the part I enjoy, which is going out and racing. And uh, I'd also have to like clean up my act and stop calling everyone idiots. Who wants to do that? That's what you come here for the channel, is to see if I called you an idiot or not. So, um, yeah, I cannot believe it has been this long. And uh, I think, I'll give my old buddies a little quick look and we'll go see some comments on the uh, initial um, preview YouTube on Inside Sim Racing with Sean and Darren. Alright, well, anyone involved back in the day knows that logo. Um, I actually met these guys when I went with the ARCA team down to Daytona and uh, had a great time. But uh, yeah, the iRacing preview. This one, this one, uh, everyone was looking forward to this video for them to get. Uh, one month membership, $20. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, and then the 12 month was 13 total. And here's what you get for your membership. A Solstice and a Legend, Lanier, Lime Rock, Oxford, Summit, South Boston, Charlotte, and Laguna Seca. That's all you got. That's all there was. Uh, it's just crazy. Uh, the menus and everything all look the same. That's, uh, that hasn't changed. Um, the prices have changed. Club standings, they had this World Cup thing that failed because no one 
cares southeast northeast international just let us be our country um yeah so the member site that all looks pretty much the same and how it was um the game itself pretty much looks the same although the graphics have improved massively um from where it was and i know a lot of people will say that's not true but they have really improved here's a fun one none of you have any idea what this is this is the old iRacing chat um ventrilo was the thing back then i believe and uh iRacing had its own built-in chat so you had chat rooms, you could create your own series. There was a pre-race room where you could chat, voice and text. So while you were waiting, because there wasn't practices attached, so you'd have to sit there registered, waiting for the race to start. And uh, this is it. This is, this is where we sat and chat. This went away quickly because, of course, hard to monitor you never know what kind of crap's going on and once these voice servers started becoming free to use it made this pointless so um yeah here's old stat page i don't even remember that one it's been so long uh the old paint page no sponsors nothing just just colors we didn't even have custom paints back then you couldn't paint the car you had to just do this and those were you got three colors um yeah that hasn't changed although it's gotten much easier because you don't have to the modified changed see this is the old modified um with the you can't really see it in this part but it had this weird little uh window there radical and solstice and yeah stafford with no lights let me just bring that up again if anyone from my racing's watching so yeah there's a little look at uh the last 16 years or 16 years ago and a few things that have changed absolutely crazy though that i happen to look just at the day um yeah, it's it's fun to go back and look at these uh, websites and and see. I mean, some of the cars and uh, tracks and the screenshots, every everything that is just uh, nice memories of being excited for the game. And now I get to be a pretty decent part of it as a content creator. Spec Racer and Sprint Car coming soon. Sadly, the pictures aren't loading, but uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I'll cut it up, chop it up, try to make it watchable, and uh, let me know how long you've been around, if you're one of the 16, or if you're someone that's uh, well over that because you were in beta, but um, yeah, thanks for watching.